You may have seen these driverless cars on Valley Roadways. There are about 450 autonomous vehicles testing right now in Nevada. And experts say that our state is a hot spot for this testing. Fox 5's Molly McBride tells us why and how these cars get licensed in the first place. Right now, there are 12 companies testing 452 autonomous vehicles on Nevada roads. Numbers Nevada DMV Compliance Division Chief J.D. Decker expects to grow. I think Nevada is going to continue to be on the front lines for, for this kind of technology. Decker says one of the reasons this testing is so popular here in Nevada is because our state was one of the first to write out autonomous vehicle testing guidelines all the way back in 2011. What's required for license, what's required for testing, what the penalties are for violating, if you see at the bottom, it says civil and criminal penalties. Our state not only wrote out guidelines, but authorized future technology. They fully recognize that, hey, this technology is going to change. We need to make this relatively broad. Um, and to apply to the technology that will exist, not just the technology that ex this exists now. Drawing companies to our state. And that's one of the things that drew us to Nevada is, is a very welcoming regula regulatory body um, that welcomes innovation. Zooks is one of the dozen companies testing autonomous vehicles here. Their director of fleet operations tells me they were also drawn to the area because of the road environment. On the roads that we're testing on right now, there's uh, driving in multi-lane roads, speed limits up to 45 miles an hour. There's uh, light rain conditions and damp road conditions. To test here, companies have to apply for a license through the DMV. Decker says right now, most of the over 450 active licenses have a potential driver in the car on standby, but some are being operated without one. It's up to the company to decide if the cars can safely operate on their own. Molly McBride, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The DMV keeps track of any safety violations or incidents where an autonomous vehicle is at fault. If a company has multiple violations, they'll potentially revoke their license, but so far no licenses have been revoked. Zooks currently has two models testing on Nevada roadways. Their retrofitted Highlander fleet, which have been testing here since 2019, and their robo-taxis, which just started testing recently. The company says they hope to welcome passengers into their robo-taxis in 2025.